following them recipes off of YouTube. Get you something like this. Yes, sir. You good? <laughs> when you get older, you gonna edit all my videos, huh? You ready to edit? You ready to edit my videos? Say that, that. <laughs> yep, that's that's gonna be your chores. Editing videos. I pay. You. Baby made a poop. Bro, line me up pretty good. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm doing a video on how to mix with using hardware and stuff like that. Go ahead and hit the link. I think it'll be up here where you can click on that if you want to watch that video. I'm about to get back into recording the video, so I'll be back. You gotta celebrate. I'm just doing the finishing touches to this song and for this video I just recorded and y'all gonna see that on the channel before this video course so i'll post the link of that video that i'm working on right now at the top right all right gang so i'm actually just saving my video i'm just chilling just waiting on it it's like two o'clock in the morning man i just love working love grinding and just this is what i do i actually gotta do the thumbnail i'm gonna do that tomorrow morning i got a paid session that got sent in but i won't work on that until like tuesday i got all these things lined up and i just keep working keep grinding man just don't even look back man just keep moving forward don't let nothing stop you don't let don't let nothing slow you down you know what i'm saying it's gonna be stuff that come that's gonna try to slow you down but you got to be the one to just say i'm gonna stop doing the stuff that don't push me forward and just only do the things that take you to the next level that's basically where i'm at with it and it just got done saving so let's go so i'm trying to go to sleep after this i'm going to sleep all right gang so it's the next day so i went ahead and worked on my thumbnail i'm tired you know what i'm saying let's go ahead and look at it real quick Yep, so this is the thumbnail. Uh, I use PixLR. It's a website you can use. It's kind of like Photoshop. I actually have Photoshop, so I mean, I could be using that. But this is like a free little website. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you put everything together and then boom, you got a little thumbnail. You got all your little layers just like Photoshop. And yeah, super simple. Yes, sir. Just uploaded the video. It's live, baby. Let's go. Ooh. Dark as hell outside, boy. He, you know, you know, we still made it though. We gon' head out to the spot and leaving out at 12. I can hang around these niggas trying to up my well. I can't rely on niggas, so I do it by myself. And you see the way we living, oh, oh, way to hell. You see the way I'm feeling, don't really wanna talk. I tell you one thing, you put me in a box. Yo, so I just got done working out. Now I'm about to go ahead and. Get ready for work, basically, you know what I'm saying? I got like a couple sessions I gotta mix. I, I got a, uh, a order for like 11 lyric videos, so I gotta get that done. You know what I'm saying? I'm just working, man. I just been grinding, bro. And uh, that's never gonna stop. I'm here in the studio and I got a paid session that I gotta mix. And he sent me like a pack of songs and uh, he recorded out of a Scarlet interface. And me personally, I'm just not really a big fan of those type of interfaces when it comes to recording vocals. You can make beats on that interface all day. But when it comes to like vocals and stacking vocals next to each other and everything, to me, it's just not my, I'm not a big fan of the characteristics. Uh, so I'm going to actually ran, run his vocals through a knee 1073 preamp. And I did a video on how to like set that up and uh, do all that. And you can go ahead and just click your card at the top right if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, so I got the session right here, all ready to go, pulled up. And yeah, I'm ready to get down. Okay, so we got the knee 1073 right here. I'm about to actually run his vocals through this thing uh, to get a really more supreme and high quality sound. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and just turn that on. Flip that to the line section. One, two. Yeah. Even though like I showed my, my process when I'm using this and it's very tedious when you know, you're know you using this to mix and master rap vocals. But I really feel like, you know, it, the sound that you get from just using hardware just sounds so much better. And the fact that, you know, you can't really just get this type of sound just from, you know, your homeboy just mixing your song, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is something that 
is very special and it's kind of special to me actually. So I'm just going to actually run his vocals on some special gear. And me personally, I just think it's just worth it to do what you got to do to really get that high quality sound you really want. You know what I'm saying? So if you've seen that video, you know my next step. I'm about to pretty much just find what areas I need to tune in this in the raw vocal to get like a really high quality sound. Oh, now mental health is important. Schizophrenic, so don't make me push your top back. So to make me send you to Heaven Boulevard for acting like you hard, your little ass get scarred on God. So luckily bro sent me the track outs to the session. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know what I'm saying? Do your engineer right, man, and get your man the track outs, bro. And that's gonna make your, your mix sound way better. Okay, we got a raw file, we got a zip file. Okay, we got too many goddamn files. Damn, I just uh, I just zipped the file. Now it's a, now it's a raw file. I mean, y'all producers be doing it too much. <laughs> you gotta zip the file, you gotta raw it, then you gotta put the password in the file just to get the other file out the file. All right, shout out to you producers that's doing that, man. Going crazy. It literally took me minutes to mix this song because I have a template that I use all the time and I used it before on this artist, and I used that, uh, I used the same template from a previous song that he did that I mixed in. Bring it to this new session and save me so much more time. And I started with the Industry Quality Pro Tools template. There's a link in the description if you wanna download that. Get your copy ASAP because it helps you mix so much faster, and I love it. I'm using the exact same effects and everything that comes with it. Just tweaked a little bit different for this artist. And you just gotta make sure you just tweak it around. Just have fun with it. It really sounds, it really makes your vocal sound better. All right, so I got the track outs and the tracks, everything in the session. Now I just gotta click and drag everything into its place. You know what I'm saying? So I, I plugged in some of the files from the template. So here go the 808 track. Let me go ahead and drag that onto the 808. You know what I'm saying? And it's basically just lining everything up, man. What is this, the snare? Okay. Go ahead and line that up on the snare track. I think I passed it. Oh, there we go, right there. And basically just keep doing this until there's no more. To the part where I'm about to actually get and mix the track outs for this beat, the producer decided not to put in the melodies. He put the drums in there, but he didn't put the melodies. So I'm just like, yuck, what what the heck is this? Situations like that happen randomly, you know what I'm saying? When you're mixing and mastering, uh, this is the life. You know, what happens when you're doing this type of work? Things happen. I can't really finish the song. You know, I gotta wait for the producer to send me the track outs the correct way so also if you guys want to download the template that i use for mixing and mastering there's a link in the description i'm about to head out guys you guys stay safe and remember it's only a matter of time peace <laughs>